a former martial artist who earned a black belt at 12 years old. Now 24, this fashion model and singer has raised funds for various charities through benefit concerts held in the country and abroad. Philippines! Building in Manila. This 24 year old to the Young Focus Center, a school offering free education to children. Philippines! <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm happy the Philippines loves me. Listen, you're a singer and a musician. If you were going to write a song about your experience here at Miss Universe, what would you call it? Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. And I think I brought half of my country here tonight. And so I would name the song Raise Your Flag because I stand here not as one, but as 104 million Filipinos. Thank you, Philippines. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life, and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me, and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapung ka. Still in the running is... Philippines! 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 Oh wow, a slow-mo turn. And then she goes on into giving us that great face, that great attitude. She's she's killing the game here. Earning spot numbers. Philippines, it's time. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. The first finalist with the chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slum and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful and I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson and this I think if I could teach also people to be grateful we could have an amazing 
amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. Good luck to you both. Universe.